Today's topic is anti-mycobacterial drugs uh, and uh, mycobacteria are uh, aerobic uh, bacilli uh, that is uh, grow slowly and uh, the cell walls have a specific um, mycolic acid and that is why it's called mycobacteria. Uh, and uh, the mycolic acid uh, is a uh, 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 has a uh, lipophilic properties, and uh, that is why it's a uh, fully uh, stained with a gram stain. So that is why a special technique is required for identification of these mycobacteria and uh, 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 and uh, the reason that cannot be stated is that uh, they are not uh, cannot be uh, acidified with the solvents usually used for the gram stain so that is why uh, usually a uh, uh, special microscope is required uh, with the ultraviolet uh, spectra to detect the bacteria. And uh, most common diseases caused by mycobacteria are tuberculosis and leprosy. And tuberculosis is very common in Russia. So and uh, that is why. Uh, the, we have a um, annual check for the tuberculosis uh, by, uh, by the x-ray and uh, tuberculosis leads to the Latin tuberculosis infection so that is abbreviated as LTBI and uh, so and this is the uh, latent phase is uh, without any signs uh, and also tuberculosis can be in active state that is a uh, long disease so this to the cough and, uh, these patients usually are uh, uh, can infect other patients through the air uh, and it is very uh, dangerous disease because leads to the death uh, and uh, that is why, uh, for example, I am very scared of tuberculosis. So, and um, one year, like one of our students uh, from uh, African country, uh, was with the tuberculosis. So we have to send him back. Uh, so we don't uh, admit these students uh, because of the tuberculosis. Uh, and uh, also uh, uh, there are other mycobacterial diseases uh, except tuberculosis including uh, caused by the mycobacterium avium intracellulare uh, and uh, mycobacterium kansasi and many other and also there is a mycobacterium lepre that leads to the Leprosy, but leprosy is not common in Russia, so fortunately, <laughs> it's mostly African disease. Uh, so, and uh, for the treatment of the tuberculosis, there are two types of the drugs. Uh, first is the drugs used for the first uh, first line drugs include uh, isoniazid, uh, etambutol, pyrazinamide, and one of the antibiotics, rifampin or Rifabutin or Rifapentin. So usually combination of four of these drugs is used. So usually this uh, is an acid, etamidol, pyrazinamid and uh, rifampin. So this is the most commonly used schematics for the treatment of tuberculosis. Uh, and the duration of therapy is two weeks and uh, then uh, 
can be as long as six months. Sorry, two two months and can be as long as six months. Uh, sometimes it can be treated several years. And LTBI, uh, that is a latent tuber uh, tuberculosis infection, uh, usually treated with uh, uh, nine months with isoniazid or uh, 12 uh, week of isoniazid and uh, rifapentine in combination. Uh, isoniazid uh, develops when used in monotherapy. Isoniazid usually uh, develops the uh, re uh, resistance is developed for the isoniazid and that is why usually a combination of drug is used. Uh, so active tuberculosis must be treated with the combination of the drugs and usually it is at least six months uh, and multi-drug resistant tuberculosis can be treated up to two years. Uh, and resistance is a problem with the tuberculosis so it is developing resistance fast to the isoniazid uh, here. Uh, isoniazid alone is very effective, but resistance is developed as well. Uh, so uh, and. Uh, Uh, multi-drug resistance is also common, so that is why uh, usually uh, the combination of four drugs is used because uh, it's usually not so they can be resistant to one or two, but not to all of four of them. And uh, also, the active tuberculosis requires. Uh, several drugs for the treatment uh, so and uh, the uh, short course chemotherapy for the tuberculosis includes isoniazid, uh, etambutol, uh, pirazinamide and rifampine for two months that is intensive phase and that uh, further it is followed by only isoniazid and rifampine for four months, and that uh, is half year treatment, six months year treatment, uh, and then uh, the second line regime includes uh, multi drug resistant tuberculosis. Uh, uh, that is so for the tuberculosis that is resistant to rifampin and isoniazid. Mm. Sorry, uh, and also can in so for the multi drug resistant can include streptomycin uh, or any other amino acid and uh, capreomycin that is also uh, amino acid. Or also fluoroquinolones are uh, uh, so like moxifloxacin, and also uh, some of the first line agents like a para amino salicylic acid and cycloserine and ethionamide. Uh, and also for the most resistant uh, drug for the most drug resistant tuberculosis uh, the linezolid and other drugs can be uh, used for the treatment so actually we have uh, a second line one of these second line drugs is used with when we have a uh, resistance so if we don't have resistance we use only use the first line regime drugs so let's talk about the isoniazid because isoniazid is the primary drug for the treatment and it is selective for the nucleic acid uh, and its mechanism of action is uh, 
dodges the uh, uh, the synthesis of the mycolic acid uh, and that leads to the destruction of the cell wall because cell wall mycolic acid is the crucial component of the cell wall of the tuberculosis. Uh, and isonazid is only used for the treatment of Mycobacterium tuberculosis, uh, and most of the uh, uh, bacteria is resistant to the isonazid, uh, and uh, the uh, uh, the resistance can be because of the uh, mutations uh, in the enzyme or the carrier proteins or uh, like the cross resistance between the other with the other drugs. Isonazid is can be uh, sorry can be administered orally uh, and uh, as absorption. Uh, so uh, absorption is uh, can be impaired uh, with the food, especially if the food is uh, high fat food, uh, and uh, the uh, is an idea to cross the, the cerebral uh, uh, spinal fluid, and uh, then undergoes the acetylation and hydrolysis and that uh, result in the excretion uh, so and depending on the uh, depending on the uh, activity of the enzymes uh, all patients are divided to fast acetylates of in isonazi and slow acetylates of the isonazi so most of them are actually slow acid traders. and uh, so it's regulated by the genes and uh, the dose adjustment may be required for those that are, are rapid acetylators. Uh, and uh, adverse effects uh, are uh, is a uh, hepatitis and uh, can lead to the death and uh, uh, also the hepatitis is uh, more dangerous in those who are drinking alcohol uh, and then also peripheral nephropathy uh, and uh, uh, nef nephropathy can be avoided by administrating pyridoxine, that is vitamin B6, and also central nervous system adverse effects include the seizures and convulsions. Uh, hypersensitivity reactions can be seen as a fever. Uh, then uh, the next drug includes rifamycin, that is uh, rifam. Uh, pin, uh, rifabutin, and rifapentin, and these are rifamycins uh, that are uh, macrocyclic antibiotics. Also, administered orally. Uh, uh, and a mechanism of action is blocking the uh, RNA transcription uh, and Antibiotics the spectra includes the Mycobacterium tuberculosis and uh, also Mycobacterium avium complex that is seen in HIV patients uh, and can be used for the other uh, bacteria as well. So uh, Adverse effects in, include nausea, vomiting, and hepatitis, 
R is red, R and R the can interact with the other drugs that are metabolized by the uh, cytochrome P450 enzymes. Uh, the rifabutin is a derivative of rifampin uh, and usually used in HIV patients uh, and uh, it is uh, less active for the en liver enzymes uh, and uh, interactions are less with other drugs and uh, so adverse effects are the same uh, and uh, so the next one is rifampentine. Rifampentine uh, uh, is a higher uh, uh, half-life and uh, it also can be used in combination with the previous drugs uh, and uh, also uh, used in HIV patients. Then uh, pyrazin amide is uh, also effective orally and uh, uh, the, it hydrolyzes the uh, pyrazin amine base uh, to pyrazinoic acid uh, and then uh, uh, it's uh, active against the tuberculosis and uh, distributes well to the central nervous system uh, and uh, and the, uh, usually used only in combination. Uh, then ethambutol is a, uh, also anti mycobacterial drug, specific antibacterial drug. Uh, inhibits the Arabinazil transferase that is uh, used for the synthesis of mycobacterial cell wall and uh, usually is used in combination only uh, and uh, uh, also uh, distributed well into the body but not into the central nervous system and that is why it's not effective for the tuberculosis meningitis uh, and adverse effects include the uh, optic neuritis uh, that decreases the visual activity and also can lead to the daltonism uh, and uh, also uh, the uh, can lead to the uh, development of the gout. Uh, then uh, the second line drugs uh, include uh, uh, second, second line drugs include uh, streptomycin, uh, paraaminosalicylic acid, acromycin, cyclocerin, and ethionamide, and also fluoroquinolones and macrolides. Uh, and streptomycin is a uh, aminoglycoside antibiotic, uh, and uh, was the very effective against tuberculosis, uh, and uh, uh, canamycin and amikacin can be used for those. Uh, bacteria that is resistant to resistant to the streptomycin uh, and the para aminosalicylic acid or PAS uh, is also uh, can be used for the tuberculosis only treatment uh, and uh, Usually, it was combined with the streptomycin, uh, but further replaced with the etambutol because uh, because of the development of resistance. Uh, 
Then um, we have uh, cyclosterine. Cyclosterine is an orally active uh, tuberculous disease drug. Uh, and mechanism of action is disruption of the alanine incorporation into a bacterial cell wall. Uh, its uh, adverse effects include uh, central nervous system disturbances, including anxiety and uh, seizures. And then uh, uh, fluoroquinolones, uh, and usually moxifosacin is used, is a broad spectrum, uh, and usually used for the uh, multi drug resistant tuberculosis. Uh, and then macrolides, uh, including azithromycin and clarithromycin, can be included, uh, and azithromycin. Uh, uh, is preferred uh, with the uh, if the um, many drug interactions are seen, uh, and then uh, also etionamide can be used. That is analog of isoniazid uh, with the same case of action, uh, and uh, the adverse effects. Uh, the same also, uh, so that can be used for replacement of uh, isolated. So then uh, the next uh, disease is uh, leprosy, and uh, this is a prevalence of leprosy worldwide. So uh, it decreased dramatically uh, during the. Uh, uh, of the latest uh, 35 years uh, and that is um, uh, um, because of the effective treatment and early diagnosis uh, and uh, the treatment is with the dapsone and trifampine also uh, and dapsone is a sulfonamide that is inhibiting the dehydrotherase synthase uh, in the synthesis of the folic acid uh, and dapsone is used for the treatment of the pneumonia caused by the pneumocystis durabensi in HIV patients uh, and is administered orally and uh, distributed well uh, throughout the body uh, and the, there is a high concentration in the skin so that is why treatment with so this is a uh, skin disease or so leprosy is a skin disease uh, and then we can see this populace in the skin and here we have a uh, treatment is successful so uh, that's why the skin will be some left marks, but actually is not active anymore. Uh, so, uh, and uh, the adverse eff uh, effects include the hemolysis, uh, especially if the patient has the glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency uh, and uh, neuropathy. So, uh, uh, so this is actually the uh, the most uh, commonly treatment available. Also, uh, uh, clofazimine is available for the leprosis and is uh, mechanisms including the binding to DNA and uh, is effective against the Mycobacterium lepra and also for the tuberculosis uh, and also non uh, tuberculosis mycobacteria as well and also administered orally uh, and uh, uh, the skin may be colored to the pink and brown uh, so but this is irreversible after discontinuation. Uh, and 
uh, then uh, cause uh, clofazimine also has a anti-inflammatory and uh, immunosuppressive uh, agents and so uh, uh, sometimes uh, erythema nodosum may be developed uh, in the patients uh, so uh, that is all for today and uh, thank you for your attention and be careful with the tuberculosis please and make uh, uh, early diagnosis and annual diagnosis is actually recommended for all adults uh, uh, x-ray is actually used in children the Montu probe is used for the diagnosis okay that is all for today and thank you for your attention and uh, if you have any questions or comments so feel free to fill them below.